Okay, back with Marty. Now, add to all this the constant mental and physiological programming that is being done to us through our alleged food, our water, our air, and the media. Don't forget the media. And we're talking about disseminating within the human body, from without, from the television, from speakers, from the electric grid as it runs in your home and all around you. There's wiring all around you. You are in an electrical box. You are in a Skinner cage. You are being bombarded by material that can easily be run right into the electric grid and into your home. No question. None. They won't tell us about that. It was talked about 25 years ago that television cable, uh, telephone, any kind of electronic medium could be carried right then and there over the electric wiring system, the grid. But it didn't happen because there were other companies out there, cable companies, phone companies, that didn't want to give up their fiber optics and all their other satellite technologies that have to do with bringing entertainment to the public. So, I mean, it is literally in every direction, Marty, as you well know, that one can look and conceive that turns into, sooner or later, a vector of control. Well, and I think that was the intent, of course, all along TV, uh, the frequency frequency at which TV is broadcast uh, was developed by the CIA. And I can't remember exactly how many times a minute that flickers, but it, what it does is it um, creates alpha waves in the brain and causes you to become lethargic. Uh, That's why so many people... Well, it pushes you right into theta. Uh, Yeah, beta, alpha, theta, delta. It starts off in alpha. The first time you look at TV, it takes, oh, they say about a two-minute period to become fully indoctrinated and imbued Mm -hmm. with that cadence. Uh, The second time, it takes seconds. And after that, it's it's a second or two, and you're there. You're gone. If you've ever looked at somebody watching television and they're not there... That's they're gone. They're under control. Yes. They have been taken. And that's why I literally have not had a television in my home for over 22 years now. Oh, wow. Won't have it. Yeah. And I hear people, oh, there's some good. I only watch the History Channel. Give me a break. <laughs> you mean the government propaganda channel? <laughs> that's right. Telling yeah. us how, how bad evil Germany was in the war and how great Joseph Stalin was and our buddy and all the... Just the endless lies and what a hero Churchill was. So, no, that's not history. No. Anyway. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I, it, it's just amazing, uh, the steady progression of this stuff. And, of course, I saw that document, and I don't know that if it's ever been verified as true, but the Quiet Weapons for Silent Wars. That was from William Cooper's Whether or not book. it was an actual Bilderberg document or not, mm-hmm. the fact remains that what was laid out in that document is virtually where we are. Well, that was from William Cooper's um, book, Behold a Pale Horse. And let me say what you just said equally applies to the so-called faked protocols of the learned elders of Zion. A perfect map of exactly what's being done. Yes. And whether they they were actually original documents or something somebody put together. Yeah, it doesn't matter because it's exactly what's happened. And uh, and it's exactly the program they have followed, and it's been quite successful. But I think above and beyond everything, Jeff, as I said early on in the show, what bothers me, what just irks me and eats at me, is the willingness, the gullibility uh, of people to just go along with this, to just go along. Um, there's somebody I was arguing with over the Second Amendment here recently. I've never owned a gun, and... But I believe in the Second Amendment because I realize what it represents, and that is our freedom. And they don't care if we have guns or we don't. They could really give a crap. But the psychological effect Mm -hmm. of striking down the Second Amendment Mm -hmm. would bring this country to its knees, and they know it. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, They know that that would signal the absolute end to the Constitution and any sense of freedom we had. And... This is why they're constantly after it. They don't care if you've got guns. They really don't, because they got stuff that makes your gun look like a pea shooter. They don't care. Exactly. But it's the psychological effect. It would render the country mm-hmm. just absolutely terribly damaged if that's ever done away with. Someone said to me, well, what difference does it make to you if you've never owned a gun? It wouldn't make any difference to you. It does make a difference to me. The difference between slaves and free men is their ability to defend themselves. And and I believe that. 
Tragically, as but, you said, though, they, they, it doesn't really matter if we have guns or not because they have so many other ways of taking us down if they want to. They really yes. do. They really do. So yeah. like I say it's for the psychological effect. I agree. Um, it, it's for disabling the country psychologically, mm-hmm. uh, harming it, 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 wounding it mortally by striking down the Second Amendment. That's what they're after. That's right. That's what they're after. And oh, it would it but, would uh, cut cut the whole thing off at the knees. We, yeah, you're yeah. right. 